I'm Michael Marie and I am finally doing my 700 subscribers special uh, milestone video. I can't believe I've actually gotten this far so it's actually taken me a while to get to this one because what I did is I did what I did last time which is a Q&A but I also allowed people to send me challenges and things that I could do. So I had to take a little bit more time in actually getting all of the material because unlike the first time where you all were nice and gave me like nice, sweet, decent little challenges of do impersonations of Stewie Griffin and stuff like that. No, I didn't get that this time. I got uh, you'll just have to see. Y'all are jerks, so seriously, you all are jerks, and I love you for it. Uh, with that said, I also want to point out that a lot of you guys did give me challenges that are going to be like full-length video kind of style things, like Cat Mario is one of them and stuff like that. Uh, I won't be doing them in this video. I'll be doing those in videos that you'll see within the next, like, week to two weeks just kind of depending on where I am at with everything because I'm also in the middle of moving yeah so lots of things all right so with that said let's get started and the first one comes from Ed and Ed wants to know what are my ambitions with my channel and honestly I don't know my ambitions what I want to do what I want to get out of it has been what I've always been saying which is build a community, be a part of something, help people out, all that fun stuff, get to do what I enjoy doing, whether it's a hobby or a job, I mean, I don't care. I mean, yes, yes, I would love for it to be a job. Not even gonna lie, can't ever lie on that. But, it's not like, you know, my heart's gonna snap into two and woe is me, ugh. It's, I just want to do the best that I can, provide the best entertainment that I possibly can with my stupid humor, and just have fun with it. That's it. That's my ambition, and I'm, I'm doing that the, by hitting this milestone and the next one and the next, and just growing and continuing to do it. I'm doing what I already want to do, so I can't ask for anything more than what you guys have already given to me. So, thank you! And his challenge is super easy. He wants me to go do a handstand. So... Let's go do that. I don't even remember how to do a handstand. I know you did this. Does that count? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I want all the money. That I might guess. be the most retarded thing I've ever seen. <laughs> do it again. So Sasha actually wants to know, what is my favorite thing about doing YouTube? And my favorite thing about doing YouTube is getting to interact with everybody. And I'm really heartbroken because here lately I haven't had a chance to interact with as many of you guys as frequently as I want to. And I really, really do. But with life and everything like that, it's just been so crazy and hectic that I haven't had the chance to. But I'm going to do better. I'm going to try and make more of an effort to interact with everybody and talk to everybody because that's what I love doing the most. And her actual challenge is that she wants me to be doing the chubby bunny. So let me get some marshmallows. Thanks. Thanks. I have a lovely assistant helping me with this one. Chubby bunny. Uh, they're too big. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Oh! <laughs> Do not shove marshmallows straight down your throat and trying to put them all in your mouth. That's a lot of mouth tips right there. Dribble Gaming actually wants to know where do I see myself in five years and I hate this question. I really don't like it. You go into an interview and somebody asks you this question. It's like the stupidest question that anyone could ever ask because how do I know? I didn't think I would be here if you would have asked me five years ago that I thought I would be here doing YouTube stuff. Um, where I'm at, I wouldn't have known. I, I would have not given you that answer. I, I had no idea. And it's going to be the same whenever it's five years from now. Who knows? I know what I want for an end goal, 
and like ultimate daydream goaling thingamajiggies, I know those. So whatever I do, I'm going to try and do to progress to that. I don't know how much time it's going to take. I have no idea where I'll be. I might be in L.A. Like, I'm moving to Los Angeles in July. I might be in L.A. in five years. I might be in Omaha, Nebraska, too. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Anything can happen. Life gets in the way. Life is weird that way. And so I don't plan on, like, timelines as I plan on, this is what I want, this is what I want to accomplish, so I'm going to go and do it. And when the, whatever happens, happens. Whenever it happens, okay. That's just kind of how I roll, and that's how I work. And he wants me to do the jelly bean challenge. So let me get that all set up. Well, I didn't buy the big thing of uh, bean boozled jelly beans this time around. I bought one of the tiny ones. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So I don't have a billboard thing. So it's just randomly reaching in here. And would my lovely assistant <laughs> like to choose them for me? So, white. What's white? White is baby wipes or coconut. Oh, thank God. Nothing terrible. Still want coconut. I got coconut! Yes! This is the first time I've ever gotten a good one of those. And what I'll do from here on out is anyone who didn't give me a challenge, I'll do the bean boozled challenge and its place. Fair? Fair. Max Blue wants to know, how are you so awesome? And here is the five step process of being super awesome, like Michael Murray. One, wake up. Two, fuck pants. Three, eat pizza. Four, eat more pizza. Five, be awesome. Yeah, that works. That's it. That's all of them. Boom! And now you're on your way to awesomeness and success. And what is Max's challenge? Oh, Max actually wants me to do Cat Mario level 1 in 15 minutes. So that's going to be a video sometime in the next couple of weeks. That'll be a future video that maybe I'll put a link right here whenever that actually does show up. Woo! Mako from Mako Titans wants to know... Why must you hate on me with your boxes? BOXES! Because boxes, bro! Boxes! And his challenge is mean! He wants me to eat a toothpaste sandwich. So let's go to the kitchen and prepare that. Toothpaste. Ow. <laughs> this is so weird and gross. <laughs> ah. <laughs> See it. Righteous High Five didn't actually ask me a question. He just gave me a challenge and he's mean for doing it. Is he wants me to watch one of my videos and every time I say fuck. I have to take a shot of vinegar. Again, I'm going to do that as an actual like video video. Again, link will be here whenever that finally does show up in the next couple of weeks or so. But I am no pussy and so I'm going to do a shot of vinegar right now. Please be <coughs> responsible when taking shots of vinegar. Ooh, <laughs> it smells gross. I don't like it. And I have the taste of jelly bean coconut. Man up about this. Three, two, one. Why do you be 
cider vinegar. That's gross. That's the worst thing I've ever done. Don't ever do that. That's disgusting. My God, uh, uh. Not yet. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Slime has two questions and he doesn't have any challenges, which means that I'm going to do the Bean Boozle challenge. First question for Mr. Slime is, do you like me? No. Of course I do! You're Mr. Slime. He's a cool kid. He's actually really cool. He's a good friend that I met through Twitter and I liked him. He's weird. I accept him. Uh, Mr. Slime's next question is, is how tall are you? I am tiny. I am short, 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 short. I am 5'2", okay, people? Someone said the other day that they thought I was tall for some reason. Like, my videos give off the impression that I'm tall. No, I am one of the shortest people that I know. I am 5'2", and I am 92 pounds. 20. And I am 24 years old, so I don't think I'm growing any more than this. Sorry. So, now that that's done, let's do the Bean Boozle challenge with it. We're getting two jelly beans, um, that are now marshmallow covered, but if you see that, which looks kind of like a butthole, they are two, uh, different, um, well, there's the white one, which is baby wipes and coconut. I still have vinegar on my breast, sorry guys. And then the brown one, which... Canned dog food or chocolate pudding. I want the vinegar now, please. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, this is the white one. That was baby wipes. <laughs> that was straight on baby wipes. That marshmallow did not hide anything. That is the baby wipe. I live with a baby. I know what those those things smell like. Not what they taste like. <laughs> I almost said that. <laughs> I don't like this and I'm just staring at you guys as I consume food. This is like an awkward first date. I'm sorry. I'm not a good first date. I don't even put out. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> All right, so, oh god, I don't want to do this one. Don't be dog food. I don't even like chocolate pudding. I know you guys are going to hate me, whatever. I don't like chocolate pudding. Sorry. I'm not happy either way this goes. Food. Very gross. <sighs> oh god, that was gross. <laughs> Cody wants to know, will I try Ben and Ed and then his challenge is, will I do a speed run of the last horror game that I did? I will do both of those. I don't know which horror game though. I'm playing lots of them, lots of horror games, and I have no idea how to speed run like any of them. Maybe Five Nights at Freddy's speed run? Is that even possible? I don't know. You tell me down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll do Ben and Ed. I'll at least try the first one. I'm not the best at raging, at least not gaming wise. Some people may argue that my uh, road rage is a thing. It's not, but some may say that it is. But I'll give Ben and Ed a try. Again, you'll be seeing that probably in the next few weeks or so. Same with the horror game speed one. So there you go, Cody. Uh, Donovan, who is Savage Dragon from Savage Dragon Gaming, wants to know what other passions do I hold? Uh, my biggest passion, hands down, without a doubt, is animals. Uh, that's actually what I want to do. That's, that's, that, that is the end goal kind of thing, is 
I want to do something that's going to help animals out. I want to do something that's going to make a difference in this world. And whether that's research, conservation, um, education, I don't don't really care, but that's why I got the media degree along with a biology degree, is so I can do something through there. And that's even a lot of why that I do YouTube is not only gets me out there, but then I can start sharing things like, if you haven't seen it, um, The Snake Pit or Rattlesnake Roundup is a documentary that I made. It's a mini documentary. It's about eight minutes long on a very sensitive topic, a very controversial topic that I feel like needs to be addressed and made change for the better so that that is my biggest passion is anything with animals I mean I've done everything I've I've showed rabbits I've done rodeos um, I've helped groom dogs like I was a dog groomer at one point uh, I've bred snakes I worked at uh, my local zoo in the reptile department for about eight years so I've done pretty much anything and everything to do with animals and I've owned like animals out the wazoo that you can't even imagine. <laughs> right now you guys have, you guys see Momo, who seems to be the mascot of the channel. That's my biggest challenge. Uh, and Donovan wants me to read my Urban Dictionary, uh, my name on Urban Dictionary. There we go, I can say words. That's what Donovan wants me to read, is read my name, the top definition, if I can look it up. See my phone cash? You like my phone cash, cash? So, there's not really a definition for Michael, so I went with the other part of my name, Marie, because then there's like zero names of Michael Marie. So, one, someone needs to get on Urban Dictionary and make a super awesome definition of Michael Marie, please. I would love to read it. Two, so here's the, here's the definition I could find for Marie. Marie's tend to be wonderful girls. If you got one, hold on tight. Not only is she amazing in bed, but Marie's are extremely fun, caring, intelligent, very funny, beautiful, and make the best friends and girlfriends ever. Advice, never compare your body to Marie's because she will always win. Damn right, look at this body popping. This guy knows what's up. They are the epitome of classiness and leaves every woman jealous of her looks. Yet they can never figure out why she dates men who don't meet anywhere near her credentials. Don't worry about that, Marie. Marie's are always two steps ahead of their men and due to her confidence and beauty, Marie is always wearing the pants in the relationship. People are left in awe saying, Did you see Marie today? She looks beautiful. I love Marie. She's hilarious. I wish I had Marie. There you go, Donovan. Jordy Boy Sam wants to know what game am I looking forward to this year? And it's one word. Doom! Doom! Motherfucking Doom is coming out! Doom, guys! I don't know if I said that enough. Have you guys not gotten that? Check all my other videos of me somewhere in there saying Doom! Doom. Come on. What other game is there to look forward to? Doom, motherfuckers. And Sam's challenge is, is that he wants me to do a pickup line on him. And Sam, do you really have such low self-esteem that you think that a challenge, it, it's challenging for people to, <laughs> to hit on you? Is that what, is that what this is? Sam, you don't need to have that low of confidence. <laughs> Alright, so Gentleman Maj wants to know which Gentleman Maj, Lady Illyria, Savage Dragon, Geordie Boy Sam are all people, and, and this deviation, we can't forget about him, he's one of like the epitones of the channel now, uh, are all people that I collab with on a very frequent basis. And Gentleman Maj wants to know, out of all those times that we've collabed, what is one of my favorite moments. So I actually had to like think a lot about this one. Like I even had to go back on videos and look and see. And I mean, there was like moments that I laughed and everything. And this may be like the cop out answered quite frankly, but I can't pick a favorite. My favorite moment of collabing with you guys is I've made a family out of this, which I didn't think. I've uh, preached a lot that YouTube is about a community and everything like that. But I didn't know it was going to get so close and so personal that I would actually 
have people that I consider to be so close that they're family, and that's, I don't, I don't give that away, I'm not a family slut. Um, so, to be that close with so many people who I have never met in face-to-face -face conversation, but I know a lot of their deepest, darkest secrets, you guys know a lot of my deep, or they know a lot of my deepest, darkest secrets, um, and I mean, if you guys ever want to know them too, you can ask, and I might do a vlog over it. But honestly, that's been my favorite part, is getting to come together and get to know Gentleman Maj, Lady Illyrious, Deviation, and just really in Savage Dragon, and like, just Jordy Boy Sam. I was going to leave you out, but I'm going to be nice and add you in, <laughs> is... I get, I get to know you guys. I get to be your friends. That's my favorite part about doing it. That's my favorite part about collabing. It's interacting and goofing off and being complete idiots together. And that's my favorite part about all of this. And I love that I get that opportunity. And I love that YouTube has opened that door for me to do that. Because now I don't have any more free time because you guys suck it out of me. Love you guys. And Maj's challenge is for me to actually do, and this is where I'm going to do the big announcement here, is that we have been practicing, or not practicing, we've been working on something kind of in the background, the entire group that I just talked about, pause, pause player as well, uh, she's another one that you've seen on my channel every now and then, uh, we're doing a Ruby Abridged series, if you don't know what Ruby is, it's an anime. We're actually doing a bridge version of it, and I'm going to be one of the voice actors. I think I have Blake, and I have somebody else, and I like, oh, we're going to have a whole bunch of characters. Uh, and so Maj's challenge for me is to do this deviation, got the main character Ruby's voice. Ruby's a girl. I know what all of your guys' reaction out there is. Yeah. He wants me to do... Act like I'm Steviation acting like he's Ruby. There's a lot of Inception going on here. And I don't know what line to use. So, uh, there's one line that I can think of. I think that was more for a self-promotion thing than anything, so there you go. Okay, so that is all the video, all the questions I do. If you guys want me to get to the rest of the questions, let me know in the comments below because I got a lot of questions, like a lot of questions and a lot of challenges, and I'll be willing to do more, but this is all the time I have, and quite frankly, it's long enough as is. I did like 10 million questions. 10 million, guys. That's a ridiculous number. I only have 700 and something subscribers, but somehow I got 10 million questions. So seriously. But, with that said, I wanted to just take this time. I know I'm late on getting this video out, so I'm at like 750 subscribers now, which is already crazy insane. I'm growing faster than my brain can even operate at. Not very fast. No. It's <laughs> not right. But, seriously, thank you guys. Thank you for everything. And not just for the support. The support is wonderful, and it really, like, it means a lot to me. There have been actually a few times uh, when doing this YouTube stuff that seeing how awesome you guys are and how supportive and how great you all are has brought me to tears. It's motivated me. It's inspired me. It's seen me. I've seen so many different things, and I've heard so many stories, so many sad stories, so many passionate stories, so many great stories that... It motivates me and it drives me more and it makes me love doing this. There are some bad things about YouTube. Uh, we don't need to talk about it, fair use. Um, but dealing with that shit, dealing with the sub for subbers, dealing with all of that, it make, you guys make it worth it because of how great you all are, of how much you all work. So many of you have such a rough life, and so many of you are struggling through so many things right now that I think I have it rough, and then I see that you guys are out there and you're doing you're still kicking ass. I'm like, well, I can't be a pansy about it. What would that make me look like? So, 
by doing that, by continuing working, by always pushing me, by always being there for me and supporting me and my stupidness. I'm dumb, guys. I have never claimed to be clever or smart. I'm dumb. But by doing that and being there for me and seeing what you guys do really motivates me and empowers me to keep going and keep doing things. And I love doing it. I love every single moment of this and I can never thank you guys enough. Maybe it'll never be a job. Maybe it'll never get big. But I'm happy here. Just doing this. It's made me happy. It's, it, this has, in a span of only six months is how long I've been doing this, has made me more inspired, more motivated, and happier than I have ever been in the 24 years before that. And so for that, I really want to say thank you. And with that said, if you guys like what you saw, like, comment, all the fun stuff in all the fun places. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys. Bye! Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom.